neighborhood. We called them poor neighborhoods in those days. They call them ghettos today. Uh, the only thing, the only difference uh, is there. I think there was much more respect uh, as far as individuals having it for each other than there is today. Uh, my father was a barber, and he also worked for a toy company, uh, Lionel Trains. Uh, singing was something that I always wanted to do. Uh, my family, not knowing too much about it, just kind of thought that people that stayed out till strange hours of the night, that that wasn't what was considered to be a real job. Was, uh, was there much music in the house in terms of anything they did or, or you know, a lot of radio? Records? Yeah, my father was uh, into uh, classical music more than anything else. Uh, he, he liked the opera and uh, he liked singers like uh, Caruso and Mario Lanza. And contemporary music was a very foreign thing as far as he was concerned. Were you into that stuff much at all as a kid? Yes, I was. I was. I think that uh, that was probably uh, the, the start for me. Although I've had no uh, formal musical education, uh, I kind of educated myself. Yeah, kind of. Do you think maybe singing along with those records really helped stretch out your range and develop your... Uh, I think uh, listening to stylized singing, people who were doing uh, styles as opposed to uh, school-taught kind of singing people uh, there were a lot of uh, I was very heavily influenced by uh, R&B music before it ever made the crossover or blues people like uh, John Lee Hooker and B.B. King and Jimmy Witherspoon and Dinah Washington I was also very much influenced uh, uh, by jazz especially 